In recent news, beloved actress Betty White has passed away just shy of her 100th birthday, and according to reports, she spent her final years wishing she was living in her other California home. Betty lived in a five-bedroom estate located in Brentwood, Los Angeles, but also owned a home on the water in Carmel, California, which she built with her late husband, Alan, back in the late 70s. If she had it her way, the actress would have remained at her marital home in Carmel, but she had to leave because of at-home care. In this video, we'll check out what we know about Betty's former properties, as well as a home that Golden Girls fans will no doubt remember. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Betty White, TV's much-loved Golden Girl, has passed away peacefully at the age of 99, just before her 100th birthday. She was gearing up to celebrate, and in honor of the milestone, she had a cover story with People Magazine, where she opened up about turning 100. She said, I'm so lucky to be in such good health and it feels so good at this age. It's amazing. Betty was a beloved actress and comedian, as well as a pioneer of early TV with a career in the entertainment industry spanning seven decades. As an actress, she always proved a favorite, but her other passion was always animal welfare. She was well known for the work that she did for them. Betty has said, I'm the luckiest person in the world. My life is divided in absolute half. Half animals, half show business. I have to stay in show business to pay for my animal work. Being an avid animal lover myself, I totally admire that about Betty. Passing was sad for many as she was one of entertainment's most beloved icons. At the time of her passing, she was worth an estimated $75 million as well, but despite her fortune, her former homes look like they're on the humble side. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Today, looking at where the late Betty White once called home. Be sure to like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and follow me on Instagram to chat. And let's get into this video. Before we check out the homes Betty owned up until her passing for a retro vibe, just check out these photos taken in her house back in the 1950s. We can see her stylish living areas and even a sunroom overlooking some palms out in the yard. What stands out most to me from her 1950s home is that it's no doubt filled with dogs. And I'm not surprised because it is Betty after all. And if you ask me, the dogs make any home the best place ever. We can see interiors of the home had wood paneled walls in one room, a brick fireplace and furnishings like a colorful pink couch. Another living room had a large white fireplace on one wall flanked with bookshelves, and elsewhere there was a piano, which apparently one of Betty's dogs could play. The stunning actress also had a spacious backyard for her pups to play and a garden. We do know Betty lived her last few years in her home located in Brentwood, Los Angeles due to at-home care reasons, but sources say she wanted to stay in her Carmel, California waterfront house she once shared with her late husband, Alan Ludden. Sadly, he passed away just a few days away from their 18th wedding anniversary back in 1981. The couple even bought the land for the Carmel home in 1978 and built it from the ground up. A source said about Betty, she never wanted to leave her home in Carmel but was forced to for at-home care. She had it her way, Betty would have lived and died in that home in Carmel. It's the home she shared with her husband. It's where she felt more comfortable. At the time of her recent passing, Betty was living at her other home located in the Brentwood neighborhood of West Los Angeles. Brentwood is an upscale and quiet area on the west side of LA full of tree-lined streets and charming homes. Brentwood is an upscale and quiet area on the west side of LA full of tree-lined streets and charming homes, while Betty's house was surrounded by lush hedges for privacy and appeared to be on the modest side. The home boasted a white wooden exterior complemented by yellow shutters and inside spanned 3,000 1,029 square feet of space. The 1952 built abode also came with five beds and six baths, as well as about three quarters of an acre of land. However, the home which Betty loved the most was her property in Carmel, California that overlooked the ocean. In case you didn't know, Carmel by the Sea is a small and charming beach city on California's Monterey Peninsula. It's well known for its history, museums, and the library of the Carmel Mission, not to mention the fairy tale cottages and village-like town center. 
Betty and her late husband bought the land for their dream home in 1978 for only $170,000 and proceeded to have the house built from the ground up. The waterfront spread was made up of over 3,600 square feet of space along with two beds and five baths throughout. These days, it's worth an estimated $2 million. In 2017, Betty actually gave fans a minute long peek into her Carmel house, filming a mock MTV Cribs tour of the place. Walking in, it was decorated as you might expect of her with vintage furnishings mixed with upgrades, including the stainless steel appliances in the kitchen. There were high wood beam ceilings in the dining area, as well as a cozy and homey living room with white fireplace. As we can see from Betty's kitchen, she liked hot dogs and energy drinks just like me. Oh wait, those hot dogs were apparently for the dog. She also showed her large aquarium filled with tropical fish and her modest bedroom with comfy looking furnishing. Both of her homes, the one in Carmel and her LA pad, were known to have rooms filled with stuffed animals. Betty had a lifelong love for animals as I mentioned, but she also talked about her love for stuffed animals in her book, If You Ask Me. She wrote, You won't be surprised to learn that I love stuffed animals. Both at my home in Los Angeles and at my house in Carmel, there is a special room devoted to them, filled to capacity. I especially love the exotic ones. There's an anteater, a rhinoceros, a beluga whale, an armadillo, a bear, not a teddy, a grizzly. The list goes on. Hey, I love stuffed animals too. After Betty's passing, fans were seen gathering outside her Brentwood home, leaving mementos and flowers paying their respects. Before we wrap up this house tour, let's check out a place that any fans of the series Golden Girls will no doubt remember. In 2020, the one-story home which can be recognized as where characters Rose, Blanche, Dorothy and Sophia lived on the show came up for sale at $2.9 million. While the hit 1980s sitcom took place in Miami, Florida, the actual mid-century modern style home was located in Brentwood, Los Angeles the same area where Betty lived herself. This property was used for exterior shots of the Golden Girls home, but you may be surprised to see the interiors are completely different. After season one, producers constructed an exact replica of the Brentwood house at Disney's Hollywood Studios. And what you see on the show, well, that's a set. In real life, the home offered four bedrooms and four baths within 2,901 square feet of space. This set built interiors of the Golden Girls crib were naturally much more famous than the outside, but the real home's interiors were still unique. The owners of the home kept many of the original details, like the colorful kitchen boasting bright walls and pastel green, yellow, and turquoise cabinets. Other features of the home included a narrow wraparound porch and a rear living room with lofted and wood beamed ceilings which had glass doors leading to a skylight top dining space. It may not be the Golden Girls Miami home that you remember, but I have no doubt in my mind that the four ladies would have loved living here as well. Well, I think that brings us to the end of our Betty White House tour. We got to take a peek at where the beloved actress spent her final days in Brentwood, Los Angeles, or what we know about the home at least, as well as the Carmel by the Sea property Betty would have rather been at. Not to mention, we even saw the home which was partly used in the sitcom The Golden Girls, where Betty had a starring role as Rose on for many, many years. From what we've seen of her homes, they appeared to be as warm and inviting as Betty herself. It's no doubt the actress and comedian will forever hold a place in many hearts. After this video, what did you think about Betty's home? Definitely let me know down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!